so hello everybody and welcome to today's video today my friends i'm very happy to be back to present you another video about pop of exile and today i'm gonna show you our ultimatum and legion farm strat yes we are combining two uh, mechanics that in my opinion are too good to ignore it is legion and ultimatum um yeah because they go very very good uh one with the other this farm strat i can tell you 100 you are pro every every map okay why first of all it is very cheap okay we have like ultimatum scarab of bribing two of them those are like one chaos each even in bulk then you have legion scarabs two of them that's also like one chaos and we have legion scarab of eternal conflict okay that is like the most expensive it is at the moment five chaos so that's the most uh, expensive scarab we are using so we are at around 10 chaos all in all of scarabs and then we have like i am using a delirious tier 8 uh, tier 8 uh, 8 modded tier 16 jungle valley uh, map but you can also go without delirious if it's too hard don't forget this ma uh, like farm strat is a bit rippy um because yes we are gonna go for this on the legion okay legion scarab of eternal conflict uh, um, it what does it does it is like monsters in area can be broken out of stasis multiple times legions monsters in area can increase difficulty and reward for each time they are broken out so you understand already why we are going for legion and why it is a bit like rippy because we are just gonna spam whenever we see like a nice pool with a lot of monsters that are rewarding we are just gonna spam our dps on them until we kill them like 10 times 20 times on until the time uh, runs out and then they come out and they will be strong okay but if you have like a nice build you should be able to do it even with delirious i'm gonna show it okay and then on the other hand the ultimatum we are going for the scarab of bribing okay what is very nice uh, since we have like four additional rounds okay so we start like four additional rounds so it's more rewarding from the first round on okay it's very very important to understand that and ultimatum is gonna be also very uh very rippy because uh the circle over time always gets smaller and smaller okay so at the last rounds you will see you can't you can like move but not that much so you can't avoid a lot so you need like a build that can do it okay but if your build can do it and try it out you have nothing to lose i mean 10 chaos of scarabs and one map everybody should have it okay so here is the tree very quickly as you can see it i'm gonna put as always on all of my um, uh, uh, farm strats i put max roll link under the video description so you can link the you can copy the tree and copy the scarabs and also with the, the craft on the map device comfortably and take your time but as you can see we are uh, going for legion points and the ultimatum points pretty much okay there is not much to say and also very important um, you have 25 percent chance to duplicate the rewards from ultimatum so i already like duplicated brother's gift card i duplicated divines it happened already okay and also like the you will get like some inscript ultimatums that's those that you like have to sacrifice maybe like four divines to get eight divines and so if you're lucky you get double of them okay yesterday i got one and i made four divines out of uh, uh this inscribed ultimatum so very profitable this um this strat so but i talked already too much you want to see it now in action so as you can see and as i said ultimatum scarab of bribing two then legion scarab two and legion scarab of eternal conflict and that's it okay with blue altar and we are gonna take legion on the map device so let's go for it okay so the first thing if your your build is not that strong you will rush until the ultimatum as fast as possible okay why because if you're using delirium why the more stages you have in delirium the more you kill the more stages you have the harder it becomes so we want to have the least 
difficulty when we start the ultimatum but if you your build can handle it comfortably it doesn't matter actually what you start with okay so i'm just saying it's a tip okay so we start it i kill but you don't need to kill to be honest then we go until the ultimatum and we do it okay i'm not gonna do it the ultimatum i'm gonna show you the legion that's the most important i mean there's not much to say you know how exactly how to do it it's gonna take a bit of time because of the stone circles it's over time and it would make this build uh, this uh, this map way too long okay as it it's needed the most important right here to show you okay it is the legion and how to do it so legions we will have like four legions in every map so one two you see three and then normal the four the fourth should be yeah it's here okay so here is the boss already there we go and this is a very nice mob, uh, uh, farm sweat you will get a lot of incubators i have a full stash full of them you will get a lot of uniques okay a lot of uniques very very nice uh, for dust and also tier zero okay i got the uh, rakatia last time the the um the sword that i sold for for the vines so that's very nice and also you will get a lot of currency um you will get uh, fractured uh, base items and also synthesis so last time i got from this uh, maps uh, strat i got an explodable that i'm trying to sell at the moment for 95 divides so this can be jackpot my friends okay so let's go and show you now so what are you going for example you see here it's a very rewarding normally you stay there okay but i do every time i clear it to see it okay here is for example bada so we spam it you see the the health bar going up and down so we are killing it like all the monsters here multiple times okay so it's best to have like a, a build that has a lot of aoe and stuff okay and now you will see they break out it's a bit like a it is a bit like hard to kill but as you can see already there is already like a, a fractured uh, item incubators pretty much you have war hearts you see already ornate incubators incubators uniques you have everything and that's out of one legion right there if you're lucky you get some swings and stuff but you get all sort of rewards out of this uh, of this farm strat okay it's a very nice one i tell you trust me when i tell you that you will profit every map i mean you saw already more than 10 chaos of uh, farm or of uh, of stuff dropping okay it's a no-brainer this this farm strat this zero risks if your build can do it it's no problem and now we spam now it was a bit a bit slow but you should like just kill those stasis uh, monsters as more often than possible but a lot of incubators you get maps that you can sell phoenix maps is it yeah it is then we open what i i like is that you you never know what you get like for example hoppinger farm strat look synthesis for example uh, uh base items and so on you know i mean Harvest is scarab of doubling. Three of those are one divine at the moment. So that pays. Only this scarab already pays for all the scarabs that we invested into this uh, map. So. But what I like and what I don't like about Harpringer, for example, is Harpringer, you know exactly what you can get. You know, it's like, yeah, we are going for the splinters pretty much. But here it can be everything pretty much. You can have all sort of cards dropping. You can have all sort of uniques dropping. You can have like a currency pretty much like dropping very nicely. Incubators uh, like the um, uh, fractured items and and and. So you just need to to clear it, you know. But it's it's rippy, yeah. If you have to. To move all the time and stuff but yeah you see already look at that 
let's be honest if now for example you you should like um, loot everything and I have like an uh, an obost rigged filter okay there is again a fractured item I have obost rigged and still I need two three uh, inventories of loot it's small th stuff for most of the cases but you can hit big also for 10 chaos guys I mean for me it is an amazing and don't forget ultimatum I'm not gonna show it to you I mean it's the ultimatum as everybody knows it but you can double the rewards and you start with better stuff normally already on the first rounds you get also like 10 stack decks at least per map easily that's also something I forgot. There is so much to say about this farm strat that I, <laughs> I can't remember everything. And we put it up together, you know. Oh, I'm about to die or what? Yeah. yeah. We put it up together because I was like, okay, we have to combine like Legion and Ultimatum because, yeah, for me it is like two nice farm strats. You know, nice mechanics that we can combine together that could be nice. Okay. But yeah, you see it already. I mean, there is not much more to say. Now we would like just go for the, um, the ultimatum and quit uh, the map. I never really like do anything else. I don't clear the map entirely. It's losing time. So you go rush to ultimatum, then rush do the legions and then we are done. I mean that was it i hope it was helpful i hope you're gonna try it out give it a chance don't talk already or so and say oh it's not that good give it a chance try it out 10 chaos per map um, i mean i normally everybody has that money to at least try it out and then we will see you will see it by yourself okay my friends for the rest thank you so much for watching have a nice day, nice night. Don't forget to comment if you have something to say. Don't forget to like and to subscribe for even more videos and for the rest. See us, my friends. Don't forget to subscribe, as I said. we see us on the next video on YouTube or on the next stream on Twitch. Bye-bye. Love you. Stay safe.